So what ride are you looking forward to the ride the most on Disney World? Uh, the new uh, Star Wars ride. What new uh, Star Wars ride? It, there's Smuggler's Run was the other one, and uh, Rise of the Resistance, I think it's the newest one. Yes. We were literally about ready to start. I was slapping my hands together. Look, look slapping, slapping my hands together. <laughs> Uh, because quick she, note, toilet paper. Okay, so here's the thing. Pee pee for my bunghole. My, stop. My wife and I have this huge debate about. Oh yeah, it's except for that part. Pee pee for my no, it's all going. <laughs> so my wife and I hey, have ever, this huge debate on who actually everybody replenishes poops, the right? toilet paper. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is not going on. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about store picks. Our favorite types of store picks for 2022. Yeah. Basically, what distilleries have been crushing it, we're going to kind of talk about them. Yeah. So, the very first one we'll lead with. Didn't really even pick an order, by the way. <laughs> but, listen, order is... Irrelevant at yeah, this point. It, it really is. Uh, this is a uh, Knob Creek um, uh, single barrel. Uh, 120 proof is right in that good proof range. Mm -hmm. uh, they do a nine year 100 proof. That's okay. No, it's good. You think so? Yeah, I think yeah. it's really good. All right. Um, <laughs> Clearly, you know. It's all right. Back to uh, this. To me, these these are really uh really good this is actually a louisville bourbon club pick 120 proof um just right in that magic proof just really 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 good so i felt like knob creek took a step back a year or two ago yeah whenever they started doing the 12 year and the 15 year and you could just I, they just they didn't meet the same standard yeah are you gonna make it over that i'm sometime? always gonna make it so <laughs> but here recently, over the last six months, we've started having a lot better Knob Creek picks, in my yeah. opinion. Uh, come out here locally uh, between club picks, restaurant picks, and some liquor store picks. I think they've kind of gotten back on track. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. So, all right, my next one, and arguably my most favorite of favorite ones on this list for this year Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Bourbon. Mm -hmm. First off, Two things. Y'all know how we feel about Jack Daniels Bear Proof Bourbon. It's some of the best stuff around. We can talk about it and talk about it and talk about it all day long. Yeah. Because it is, honestly, when people sit there and people are going to get mad at us. Are you going to yawn again? No. Nope. You're going to yawn this whole video, aren't you? Nope. It's going to be fantastic. Nope. Uh, when people talk to us about, hey, what do you think the next thing going to be allocated? What do you think the next, like, everyday bottle is going to be allocated? I'm like... Maybe Jack Daniels Bear Proof. I thought maybe Rare Breed too, because Rare Breed was allocated for a minute. And, well, and that was a glass thing. I, it was, but I thought like, all right, if you're going to go ahead and kind of allocate it now, you might as well just keep it allocated. But they they didn't. They kind of back. They kind of backed well, away from it. This to me, and you know, this is the this is the yeah Bourbon and Beyond pick. So this is a big festival pick. You know, it, it's not important about the pick itself. It's important that these individual single barrels, I've never had a bad one. Yeah. I've, I've literally never, ever had a bad one. I agree with that. Now, they, there's a lot of people who don't, well, who who poo-poo on Jack Daniels, and I think it's because they've only drank the Eddie cheap, Prover. Yeah, the cheap yeah, Jack Daniels. And I'm going, I'm going, like, listen, you need to go to, you need to skip everything but the barrel proof. If you can find Coy Hill, try Coy, because... Skip everything about yeah. the 80 proof. Yeah. Is what you want. yeah, skip. Yeah, whatever <laughs> it is. It's the, these are magic. Like the oh, I the, agree. The barrel proofs, the barrel proof rye. Um, again, y'all know how I feel about rye. The barrel proof rye is on another level. Uh, the Koi Hill is on another level. The Koi Hill small batch is on another level. Like these Jack Daniels has just been producing hitters. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So, people, awesome stuff. But people can't get past the old 80 proof. Yep. 
Um, all right, let's talk about one that probably, I'm gonna wager saying most people have never had who are watching this video, or they've maybe seen it, they haven't seen this type. Yeah, make sure you hit that like, notifications, all that kind of stuff. You can tell us whether or not you've had down home at all. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below. Down home toasted wheat whiskey. So we've talked about down home toasted bourbon before. Mm -hmm. We are fans, big fans of the down home toasted bourbon. We are also big fans of the down home toasted wheat. To me, this stuff, it's actually kind of really hard to find. It's not that it's allocated. Yeah. I just don't think they produce a whole lot of it. Yeah. But I've had two types of their toasted wheat. It's either really sweet and honey like, which, you know, that's right up your alley. Mm hmm. Also, it's either really tobacco y, cigar box, stuff like that, which is this pick right here, no. which is also it really right is. in your alley. Like, your that? two favorite notes. Yeah. Oh, I love a good tobacco note. Oof. Yeah. It is, in, but it's also something that not a lot of people have had. It's probably honestly not in a lot of areas, but whenever you come to Kentucky, if you can find a bottle of this, it is, I'm telling you guys, it's so good. And it's funky. And I've seen some people like, eh, I'm not a fan. I love this stuff. I, this yep. is like my very yep. last bottle that I have from Happy Liquors. And I'll be sad when it's gone. All right. So our fourth, and we kind of have two two bottles we want to share here because, you know, we just can't have one. No. Because we always, if we're going to talk about Hubers and you can kind of sort pigs, we always have to talk about the honey. And then also, we'll talk about the cigar blend. So I don't know how much more we have to say and lead with and everything else about Hubers and any kind of, you know, finished product, right? Yeah. But, man, their, their single barrels that they've been producing here over the last couple of years have been money. Yeah. And I know, like, I feel like I'm biased because I grew up in the area and stuff like that. Yeah. And I know, I know a lot about them. They're such great people up there. But I really, I say this all the time. I think they ultimately produce some of the best finished stuff yeah. that's on the market. Yeah. Maybe not like the number one honey barrel. Maybe not the number one cigar. But they blend. just make a great, they know how to blend stuff and they know how to finish stuff in yeah. different barrels. They know, I don't know if it's like they know the timing of keeping it in a barrel. I think the boys long. up there working, they just know what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. They they have a great understanding of what their people like. They run a great Facebook yeah. group oh, that they, do. they listen yeah. to what their fans they like really and everything else. Yeah, and like that, like I had a rye up there for my chef. I forget the name of it, um, and I regret not buying one. It was awesome. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. stuff. All right, so our last pick, and this is also going to be another rare single barrel. This is the Prideful Goat six year old single barrel. This one, it's hundred yeah, hundred and sixteen point one proof. We actually talked about it. One hundred and sixteen perfect proof, pretty much. Yeah, uh, we actually talked about it on our live stream a, a little bit, but this is a pick that actually came from oh, great. Bourbon Junkies. If you're on their Patreon, and great I had, hater sticker, I had never yeah exactly. I never actually had one of their single barrels. I'm like, that's interesting. Made sure I got it. I tried it. I'm like, wow, this is like a citrus bomb. Like you get yeah. like that ninety five five rye. Yeah. Traditional like mint, yeah. You get that stuff mint. like that. Like you get that mint at the end, tail end of the palate. You yeah. get you get that mint, but it's like so nice orange and the nice yeah. zest with yeah. it and everything else. And I just dug it and I just started digging into it. Yeah, and then I reached out to Chris, who he he's one of the owners of Prideful Goat, and he was super kind, super nice, gave me a lot of information on it. And they've only done like thirteen picks of this so far this year, but they are aging more stock up. Yeah. And they are they plan on doing more releases, from what I understand. And Chris, we would love to. I'm not asking. But. I, I'm I'm not asking. I'm just like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But I will tell you all right now, if this is in your area, to my knowledge, it's mostly in Texas right now. Yeah. If you can find one of these picks, do their money. Like, yeah. they're on. it's honestly my favorite ride pick I've had all year. I've had some from Sagamore that I love. Yeah. I've had some other random ones here and there. I'm telling you guys, this is probably my favorite rye yeah. pick I've had. Yeah, this is this my is favorite good. rye, like single barrel this is I've had all year. It's, these these it's are the these are the it's kind awesome. of ryes that slowly bring me over into the rye world. That um, yeah, and that's saying something yeah, with them. Yeah, so, so I'm I love it. Like this is really really good. So I'm, I'm super stoked. Yeah, that he I, got that. I, I think it's great. Yeah. So 
But anyway, so that's all we have. So let us know in the comments below what yeah. is some of your favorite single barrels you've had this year. Um, your store pick. Tell us, what, yeah, tell us the stores that you yeah. like to go to and, and or, they have a traditionally good pick. Some of the some big distilleries or smaller distilleries that you've been getting picks from that you think are just money. Like, yeah, you know, help us, help everybody else. Yeah, for so. sure. All right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.